It shall be. Oh, my child, I am glad I have found you. Listen carefully. If we ever become separated, it is imperative that you make your way to the Friendly Arm Inn. There you will meet Khalid and Jahira. They have long been my friends, and you can trust them. Let's hurry, child. The night can only get worse, so we must find shelter soon. Don't worry. I'll explain everything as soon as there is time. Wait, there is something wrong. We are in an ambush. Prepare yourself. You are perceptive for an old man. You know why I'm here. Hand over your ward and no one will be hurt. If you resist, it shall be a waste of your life. You're a fool if you believe I would trust your benevolence. Step aside and you and your lackeys will be unhurt. I am sorry that you feel that way, old man. In Cactus, man, well, cry, child. Get out of here. You're so good. Dawn is especially cruel this morning. You awake with the realization that you have not been living some horrible dream. Ambushed, you saw Gorion cut down before your eyes, and even his powerful magic could not stop the onslaught. It was his wish that you flee, but that does not remove the feeling of helplessness that now overwhelms you. Hand over your ward, the armored fiend had said. He was after you and you alone, but why? If only Gorion had given some clue. But now you are alone and lost. Candlekeep is near, but you will find no quarter there. The readers pay for their serenity with rather draconian entry rules, and without Gorion's influence, their doors will remain closed. You will not last long on your own with your meager equipment. Perhaps you can get some help from the friends Gorion mentioned, the ones at the Friendly Arm. It's me, Emmowen. You're a queer fellow.
Yes? 